So today I want to take a look at the Real Avid Pistol Tool. It is a very compact multi-tool that is perfect for your range bag or for your bench. So we'll start off with the two different sized 1911 bushings. So you'll see that there's a large and a small there. On top they have a nice hammering surface for tapping things into place. Um, this is also non-marring plastic around it. So next up you have a really nice beefy pick. Underneath that you have these four different Allen. Then next up we have this really nice rather large driver. It kind of has a filing surface. It's hard for you to see but it has a filing surface on this back side. And then it has a receiver for these different bits on this side. So you have two flats, you have an Allen, a Torx, and two Phillips. And they fit in quite nice over here. So you pull them out. They have detents that retain them so they're not going to fall out. Plus, when that's closed, they can't really fall out. They're stuck in there. And then finally, you have a pretty decent Tonto blade. And as always, be safe and be good. Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we have the highly anticipated final production version of the Leatherman Signal. The Leatherman Signal, like a lot of other Leatherman tools, is purpose-built. So it's built for the outdoorsman or for those that practice survival because it's got the knife sharpener, the whistle, and the ferrocerium rod. So it's perfect for people like me that commonly carry a ferrocerium rod when I go outdoors and into the woods. It's great to have this with me as a backup for not only maintaining my tool but also being so let's take a walk around the Leatherman signal here up top you have a nice sturdy pommel great for pounding things in or crushing things such as nuts you've got this cap lifter here which is always handy to have and then a quarter inch bit driver that will accept quarter inch bits and you can use the tool that way you have two tools that open from the outside you have the combo edge blade that locks into place straight edge on the tip and then serrated on the bottom great for opening packages and for cutting things like rope you do have to press in the frame here the frame lock to release the tool which is nice that it locks into place and as always guys click that red subscribe button for more videos hello it's elder here and today i want to talk to you about this multi-tool that i picked up that's actually contained in a tactical pen that's made by the Atomic Bear. I'm usually not a fan of uh, just gadgets for the sake of gadgets, but uh, the reason why I did like this one and gravitate towards it is the fact that it is made out of aircraft grade aluminum, which is what I look for in a tactical pen. It has a tungsten tip, so uh, we could refer to that as a glass breaker or a skull crusher. And it also fits very good in the hand when deployed uh, in a reverse grip position. So once it passed that test and said, okay, that's good to go, and it actually contains some extras, all right, let's take a look and uh, go a little further. So let me go ahead and share the uh, other applications that are contained in this multi-tool. So one important thing about a tactical pen, let's say, is the way that it writes. Well, this one is a screw top, so it unscrews, revealing a uh, ballpoint pen that actually writes very well. So that's uh, definitely good to go. We mentioned previously the tungsten tip and uh, the glass breaker or the business end, especially if you are uh, utilizing this with uh, self-defense in mind. And this tungsten tip actually unscrews, revealing another multi-tool here that contains a... Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Knife Review. Today, we've got the King Max X10. We're about to find out. So this, this is the guy here, not super heavy, comes in about 7.7 .7 ounces is what they say. Let's see it, can test that out real quick. Pretty close, 7.65 ounces. So, uh, so not super light, but not super heavy either. A little bit less than that, but then you add the sheath and, and the bits and you're you're coming in um well over 10 ounces with with all that so what you get for 17 bucks is a partially serrated blade not sure the steel doesn't really see. and y'all have a good day thanks 
Hey, what's up everyone? In this video today we're looking at, so I've looked at the Cold Steel Spetsnaz shovel, looked at a shovel that folds up from Schrade, a CRKT shovel, a variety of different shovels. The thing that makes this one stand out is the length and then also this tiny little element right there. So my buddy Blaze checked out a similar shovel from the same company, I think it's pronounced Eunio, and uh, it was all black, the, uh, the handle basically twisted together you know, on the threads, but the issue was when you were shoveling, the handle would start to come loose. With this one, because of that little locking mechanism on, in various spots here on the handle, that locks in. So my estimation is that this is not going to come apart when we're using it. Now we're gonna test it obviously to figure that out. Uh, but that's the thing that made me frustrated about the bigger shovels as, as compared to this one, I think. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. More videos coming soon. Take care.